Aloha. Usually we do beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces on this channel. This video is uncut. And in today's uncut, not going to be a super positive message or have some real good energy for you. Uh, in fact, I'd like to give a shout out to Intrepid Exotics, a link down in the description for the video that he did recently. Uh, and he, I thought, did a really good job of, well, it was clear that he was quite upset, but yet he did a wonderful job of maintaining his cool and being professional, which is what I'm going to attempt to do here today myself. Now... If you don't know what's happening in Florida right now, there's videos all over the place, but I just wanted to at least add my voice to the fray, if you will, um, just in case there were folks that follow me that aren't aware of the thing that transpired in Florida, which is something that's probably been transpiring for a while, but this time there was video coverage of it. And uh, the video, the full video of, of the thing that happened was on uh, U.S. Arc Florida's YouTube channel. I'll have that link down in the description as well. And maybe some of it will be playing over here too, just so you can get an idea. So basically some FWC um, officers went into a reptile room, snake room, much like the room here, and um, killed a bunch of snakes. And while the owner was there, it's the, the video is actually pretty disturbing. Um, and my understanding is that there was... Some animals that were, you know, supposed to, a certain amount of time before to, something was supposed to take care of with them. You know, Florida's got the crazy um, laws going on right now and lots of legislation happening and, and lots of things are changing as far as which species you can keep, which species you can't. And it's a tragedy in itself that people and governments and, and officers think that the solution to what's going on in Florida is to go and, and kill people's animals and just euthanize them pretty horrifically in front of the owner. I mean, that's that's something that you would never see happen with other species, I think, because snakes get such a bad name and the majority of people don't not only don't care for them, but actually claim to hate them, um, even though the snakes have never really done anything wrong to them. Now, before I, before I go further, I would like to state that, yes, there is a, a valid and, and real problem with invasive species, especially the Burmese python and the Florida Everglades. That's been addressed and it's known as a fact. Now, I'm certainly of the opinion that if you killed all of the snakes in captivity in Florida, that's not going to end that problem. Those Burmese pythons in the Everglades are there, and they're not going anywhere at this point. It's unfortunate, the effect they have on the local and wild ecosystem. However, there are many other man-made issues that, have, that are not good either out there. And I think it's just a little too little too late to be trying to enforce all these different legislations, let alone going in and killing. Again, if you went and killed every single captive snake in Florida right now, that is not going to fix the Burmese python issue in the Everglades. It's not. So to me, it seems like a lot too late. And the big tragedy there, if you didn't see the video already, is that there was a, a pet. Well, they were all pets. But there was somebody else's uh, pet was being kept there that was a legal species to keep, something that didn't need a permit, a boa constrictor, that actually was gravid. And the person who was in charge of the facility let the officers know a, a number of times and made very clear, like, this is a boa constrictor, like, this, this animal is not part of what you're here for. And they still... You know, and I don't know, it, what, they made a mistake, I guess. They just were kind of going gung-ho with just killing all the snakes and just maybe were just going in a fray. And you could, see, you could tell they knew they made the mistake when they did it in the video. It's, it's obvious that they were like, oh, dang. But it's, at the same time, if the guy told them 10 times not to go for that snake, it seemed like they were just all cut up. And I don't really know what the exact solution is here. One solution I would think would be to find more capable officers who know what they're doing if they, and know the different species of snake. You know, I mean, I, I get it. If you're, if the untrained eye, you don't know what kind of snake this is, unless you're like a snake enthusiast or someone who has a trained eye. You know, you don't know if this is a boa constrictor or a python. General public certainly has no knowledge of that. But if you're a trained officer for fish and wildlife, you should know the species you're keeping and or the species that you're working with, or the species you should be able to identify the species that are part of your job description, you know, to regulate. Now, what what can be done? I mean, 
hopefully that person is going to ca- cause action. What, what I would love to not see happen is folks within the hobby and the industry start going after each other about what they think other people are doing wrong within the hobby of other people who really like snakes and keep snakes. And cause there's always going to be differing opinions on how to do it exactly right. Nobody's opinion is hundred percent correct as far as like which way you keep animals, what exactly you do with your animals, how you interact with your animals. Nobody's nobody in the hobby. Everybody in the hobby is, is never going to agree on that. I don't, I don't see that happening ever. It's just, uh, it's a pipe dream. But what we can do is focus on where to put that type of energy instead of putting it into other keepers and and uh, being angry with each other. You can put that energy into reaching out to legislation, into supporting U.S. Arc and U.S. Arc Florida, and just doing your best to show the positive side of these animals so that people don't think they're expendable, like those officers clearly thought that they were just expendable and they 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 just even to the point where they paid no attention to even getting the right animals dealt with that they were there to deal with and just basically having a murder spree of all these animals um <clears throat> anyway i think that's all i have to say about it link down in the description um just do your best to to be positive in the situation and and make your voice heard in the right places to the right people that actually have a say in this. It's, it's tough for me. Like, honestly, for me here on, on this side of the country, it seems so far and aloof. Like, it seems so far removed. Like, it's almost like another country, even though it's part of our country, Florida. It seems like it's such a such a world that's like, wow, could that happen? But of course it could. And if, if officers came in here and killed all my animals, I don't know how I would deal with that. I My heart goes out to the folks that are dealing with this type of situation right now there in Florida. And... Um, the thing is, if you're like me and not in Florida and you're thinking, well, oh, it's, it's happening there. It, it, Florida is kind of the front lines for all of the legislation for reptiles. And this is something that a lot of people have said, because it's true. Like what, what happens in Florida is going to slowly creep in outside of Florida into other States already is. Um, so, you know, don't just be lackadaisical about it. Just be aware that there is a system that is working to, that is not working. There's a system that is not working and it's expanding in its inability to work properly or successfully. So it's up to us to make a good name, not just for ourselves, not, not make a good name. That's not what I'm trying to say. It's, it's up to us to be ruling our government, not the other way around. And the way to do that is to have your voice heard. You know, it's, it's still a country where ultimately we, the people are the loudest, the, are the majority, the government and the lawmakers, they're, they're a small part of the population. Us people, us citizens, we're the majority, but we just need to make sure our voices are heard. So I'd encourage you all to do that. Um, with the links below, with US Arc, Flo- US Arc Florida, US Arc, um, all, all those places that you can go and, and look to reach out and find. They have great <clears throat> resources on how to reach out to government officials and, and all that sort of thing. So please go check them out and uh, support those groups because they're on the front lines to work against things like this, things that happened in Florida that are that tragedy from from happening again moving forward. Okay, I'm out. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Uh, Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.